In this vlog, I go through John Thornhill's partnership to success training program. We'll go through my impressions of actually attending this training program, as I attempt to build an online business in less than 90 days. Consider it a thorough review of John Thornhill's partnership to success program. Some of the links you will click in this blog and in the video description are affiliate links, and I earn money if you accept the product or service in these links. Today, we signed up as an affiliate for John's Ambassador Program, and put graphics and affiliate links in the blog sidebar. The Ambassador Program has a comprehensive funnel with upsells and downsells, and I look forward to making good money when I get traffic to my blog. Getting the affiliate links and putting them on my blog was easy, what was not so easy was putting social share buttons in my blog. Remember, I'm not using WordPress, where you can find plugins that easily put social share buttons in your blog. System.io, only has a Twitter share button with graphics I didn't like. After an extensive search, I found a service called Share This. Share This, offers an extensive choice of social share buttons, to enable your share buttons, just insert the HTML code in the header of your page. And they offer a sticky configuration, so that the share buttons stay visible on the page when you scroll. The Share This, service is free. Day 8 was the longest day so far, actually, it was multiple days for me. I became an affiliate for the Partnership to Success program, and started putting text links in my blog. I created a subdomain for my main domain at my domain provider. Since I use Namecheap, to set up a subdomain, I followed the instructions in a video on my blog. I branded the lead magnet report, never succeed online, with my subdomain links and tested it, and it worked. Then, I had to set up the pages for the lead magnet. Again, since I don't use either Optimize Press or WordPress, I created a funnel in System.io. The first page on the funnel is an inline opt-in form to collect leads, I integrated the inline opt-in form into my blog. The second page in my funnel is an email confirmation page, where my leads are informed that they need to confirm their email address. Finally, the third page in my funnel is a download page, where my leads can download their free report and opt-in to John's Partnership to Success webinar. Then, I put the follow-up sequence of 9 emails that John provided us, into a System.io, email campaign. With System.io, you have to create a trigger action rule before you start any campaign, the rules are easy to set up, and they give you great flexibility. I tested everything and it worked. I was very happy. Day 9 was a light day. John covered topics like, how often to post, finding inspiration from other members' blogs, and commenting on other members' blogs to earn backlinks to your blog. The member community is one of the added values of the Partnership to Success program. I look forward to building business relationships with other members in the program, for my first product launch and subsequent launches as well. This light day, also meant that I could catch up on a few more tasks in the program that I've left behind. On day 10, John Thornhill and Randy Smith went through a presentation on email marketing. Some of the topics covered were Getting your emails delivered and opened How to craft the subject line and main body of your email Building relationships with your readers, and more This presentation is worth viewing, even if you are an email marketing expert, which I'm not On day 11, John covered the creation of a squeeze or landing page, for the Never Succeed Online campaign I built a squeeze page on System.io and added it to my Never Succeed Online funnel that I built earlier. Then, I modified the trigger rule in my automation section, and connected the Never Succeed Online campaign to the actions. I added a pop-up opt-in form, and the share buttons from Share This, and tested the squeeze page. It worked, and the squeeze page looked pretty good, I'm proud of the work done so far. John asked to fill up a form, so he can list my blog on his blog, and this way I could get some traffic to my blog, which is another value out of the program. And that brings us to the end of the second post in the series, and the end of phase 1. Subscribe to my blog, you'll get immediate access to updates on my journey. Also, don't forget to leave a comment. Thank you for watching.